I have a little, I'm going to put this thing on, do not oh, disturb. Yeah. Say your name and count to 10 for me. Ron Crowder. One, two, three, four. And I had my telephone off on. Okay. Thank you and welcome to the show this morning. The topic this morning is the status of HIV and AIDS in Nashville. And we're fortunate to have with us to talk about uh, the status of HIV and AIDS in Nashville, a longtime fighter of HIV and AIDS uh, in Nashville, uh, Mr. Ron Crowder. And many of you might recall that Mr. Crowder has been with us not only uh, on many other shows, but he also is the founder of a very, very important uh, anti-HIV AIDS organization called Street Works. And uh, Mr. Crowder, let me welcome you to the show this morning and to tell you how delighted we are to have you and to uh, tell you how glad we are to have you in this seat because it's been quite a number of months since we've had a good HIV AIDS show. And some folks are saying that uh, HIV and AIDS might be disappearing or whatever. So let's talk about uh, first about you and your background and then by perhaps the uh, second segment, we'll get into the status of AIDS. But more than okay. anything, let's talk about Ron Crowder first. Okay, as you said, I'm Ron Crowder. I'm the founding the CEO of Streetworks. Streetworks is a nonprofit agency that's been around for almost 20 years. We started in 97. Uh, we have three locations in Nashville. Two of them are located in public housing. Uh, the Casey Homes in East Nashville and Tony Sudicum Homes in South Nashville. We do free HIV testing. We do free hepatitis C testing. We provide uh, a multitude of uh, uh, direct support services for people living with HIV and people who are actively using uh, drugs. So we, were, and the name come because we work the streets. We work the streets a lot at night to prevent new infections of HIV and hepatitis C. We work the streets to 
uh, uh, interact with people who are actively using drugs and to try to do some type of intervention with them. And uh, if necessary, and if whenever they uh, get ready, we uh, uh, help them uh, uh, get into treatment. Mm -hmm. and, and, and so, Mr. Crowder, we know uh, uh, you, and as we said, you were one of the uh, first uh, HIV AIDS persons that uh, we recall uh, being able to talk to about uh, that disease. And, and, and you, since that time, uh, not only have you grown the organization, but uh, you've uh, grown your influence uh, throughout this nation in terms of what uh, AIDS is and the status of AIDS. And uh, what we'd like to do today is to have you to give our audience as much information as you possibly can about the status of HIV and AIDS uh, in okay. American society in Nashville. And then uh, uh, we'll do, dedicate ourselves to that proposition okay. for the rest of the show. Okay, so right now, HIV and AIDS, we can see an end to AIDS now. An end to AIDS is in sight now. We, uh, there are cities, particularly in New York, has a plan called End AIDS by 2020. So they actually have a plan of ending AIDS by 2020. Nashville doesn't have a, a plan yet, uh, but with all of the new uh, uh, interventions and the new treatments, we can see HIV and AIDS ending. Mm. Yeah. Well, you know what, I think when you first came to us, uh, Mr. Crowder, that uh, was several years ago when mm -hmm. this was a real disease and people were, we're all still having all sentence. kinds of problems in reference to it. Uh, it's strange that you can now say that within the next four years, because I think at one time we thought that this would be something that would be with us forever and ever. But you mean that the technology and, and the, the drugs and et cetera have come to such a point that we can talk in, in a real sense to be serious about saying that uh, yes. four or five years from now we might see the last person to have be afflicted with this disease. Yeah, an uh, end is in sight. I can't say that yeah, realistically I, five years is going to be the end of it, but we do know that the end is in sight. That it's now. not forever, as yes. we thought for at one time. Yes. Uh, right now, HIV is more of a chronic illness than a death sentence as it was. Like, I'm, I can't remember the first time I came on your show, mm. but I, I do know that the first time I came on the show. That was in the 90s. Yeah. HIV was still a death sentence. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If you got HIV, you, you was going to die yeah, of it. That's right. Now, they treat HIV as a chronic illness. And what they are doing is, if they can get the viral load to undetectable, mm -hmm. then your chances of transmitting the virus is slim and none. Mm -hmm. So a person who, who has uh, HIV in an undetectable viral load, mm -hmm. their chances of transmitting it to their sexual partner is slim and none. Okay, and so what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our first commercial break, okay. and we're gonna be back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break. First time when we came, you came, and, and it was a terrible situation. Yeah, and it was at that yeah. time, at that yeah. particular time. But we didn't think in turn. I think. Well, what has uh, the national government done in reference to this? Because I think that at one at one time the a government was given uh, 
various administrations played a significant role in terms of. Well, uh, the thing is that they got the Ryan White program. Okay. Uh huh. We're ready. Thank you and welcome back to the second segment of the show for today. We're talking to Mr. Ron Crowder and he's given us some information in reference to the uh, status.